happening right now. SpaceX's Inspiration4 crew is getting ready for launch from the Space Coast. It's set for tomorrow night. Inspiration4 will have no real astronauts on board making that historic mission. And joining us right now to talk more about it is Planetarium Director at Seminole State College, Derek Demeter. I'm surprised you're not on this flight. You would be a shoe in for this. Um, well, there were several uh, criteria for the uh, launch. One of them, uh, one of the seats was actually a member of the uh, St. Jude's um, family. Uh, the other one was a uh, ra basically a raffle. Um, and unfortunately, I don't watch TV, so I missed the opportunity <laughs> for the raffle. I know. <laughs> and the other one was a, a Twitter uh, post, and I don't own, I don't use Twitter either. So I guess, uh, well, it's all, it's all good. I'm happy to be here on Earth and watching it from. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can catch the next one. That's all right. That's all right. All right. So let's talk about the significance of this mission, because this is the first time we're going to have an all civilian crew. And this isn't like the Jeff Bezos thing, right? We're not just like going up and coming right back down again. We're talking about a three day mission. That's right. And uh, surprisingly, they're going uh, actually higher than the International Space Station, a couple hundred miles higher than where the International Space Station sits. So it's a three day orbit. Uh, around the Earth, and uh, they're going to have quite a fantastic view because they, uh, where the normal docking uh, uh, link for the uh, Dragon is a cupola, basically a big window portal that they'll be able to look out into space, which uh, it sounds pretty awesome. Derek, what are they going to be doing on this mission? What is sort of the goal? So there really isn't a whole lot of information as far as what they're essentially doing in the three day. A lot of it is going to be, you know, taking photographs and, and talking about their experience. But a lot of it is uh, really inspiring. Um, the four individuals that are uh, on this mission are really showing the world that uh, eventually space travel for people like us will become something of the future. Uh, and of the near future, the idea of science fiction becoming science fact. So really the, the main part of this mission is to really inspire, hence the name inspiration uh, for, to uh, hopefully we'll start to see more private citizens going into space. How autonomous is this, this SpaceX mission? Are we at the point now where the astronauts really don't have to do much of anything except for just kind of hang out and sit there? It's actually designed, the, the, the Dragon capsule is designed to be pretty much autonomous. However, uh, you know, just like anything, you, you, you do want to uh, have skills for piloting. So a lot of the, uh, uh, you know, um, Jared Isaacman was, is a pilot. Uh, and several of the other members of the team are also trained to uh, handle any of the tasks that need to in case of a manual override. So in the future, you know, obviously, as we get this technology gets more and more advanced. It's, it's obviously going to be uh, even more autonomous, but it's, it's a good idea to have a little bit of training involved uh, before going up there. But uh, pretty much the mission is essentially, um, you know, go up, go down, and everything is kind of handed, handled down here or done by the computers. And, and I imagine you have to be fairly physically fit, right, to be able to do this too. I mean, your body has to be able to withstand, you know, all the, those G-forces, that's intense. Yes. So just like anything, you know, I mean, if you go skydiving or if you do, you know, whitewater rafting or any extreme sport, uh, you know, the, it's encouraged to be in good physical health. Um, you know, the astronauts that are going up on the Inspiration4, again, did lots and lots of different trainings, uh, you know, definitely a lot of um, uh, physical exercise to make sure their body is in good standing health because, you know, dealing with those G-forces going into space, also just handling the microgravity for three days actually puts a lot of stress on your body. So again, the, the, you know, there are definitely things that need to be done uh, in order to, you know, maintain a, a good health record for going up in space. So if you want to go in space, it probably it's another, another motivating factor to, uh, hey, I'm going to diet, exercise, because eventually I'm going to go into space. You know, that you could always use there that as a, as a reason. That and signing up for Twitter. So, Derek, I'm creating you an account right now so that on the next trip, right, the next time they offer this up, you can go, okay? So I'm going to work on that. I'll let you know what your Twitter handle is. All right, excellent. Hopefully to do Instagram. I'm a photographer, so <laughs> I hope that they, you know, go with Instagram next time. I'm much better at that than writing, you know, phrases. Tweets, like yeah, that. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Your Instagram is excellent, by the way. Derek Demeter, thank, thank you, you so much. Always good to see you, my friend.